All right, joining us now from Portsmouth is Mohammed Ibrahim Shire. He is a senior lecturer in security and risk management at the University of Portsmouth. Thank you so much for joining us here on the News Hour today. Um, now, we're seeing the Prime Minister instructing the country's security forces to take orders directly from him, while the President is being blamed for uh, staging a coup. Is that the case? Would you evaluate the current situation there as uh, a coup being let out? Well, uh, it's important to establish that the role of the Somali security forces is to stabilize the country and protect its citizens. Uh, Prime Minister Roble was initially tasked with overseeing the implementation of the electoral process, including the security arrangements. Um, for, for Prime Minister Roble to say that um, all the um, security um, forces commanders should take commands of him is something that is not within his uh, uh, powers. And it's something that also needs to be emphasized as well. Um, uh, Prime Minister Roble has a certain mandate, a certain scope when it comes to managing the election and managing the electoral process, but it should not be uh, interpreted as a way of overstepping the boundary when it comes to the security sector in Somalia. Uh, I don't believe this is a coup necessarily. I believe this is a huge crisis point that has been recurring for quite some while. It's been simmering for some time, and it just reached a point that, you know, um, it has led to the point that we are in at the moment. But I don't. I would not consider it as a coup in the maker or even an attempted coup. But something that doesn't signify what's happening in Somalia at the moment. What role do you think the U.S. is playing here? It's it's supported um, rapid and credible elections. But do you think it'll stay at that, or do you think that they'll play a more active role uh, in this crisis, especially if the situation ends up getting worse? Well, the United States has released some boilerplate statements in the past, across several statements. But I think the latest statement was really quite stern and was really quite direct in the sense that they really uh, took sides also in the conflict. And I don't think that's particularly helpful. I think it's very important that the United States should put some emphasis on guiding and resolving the difference between the two actors or even the two leaders in Somalia and uh, resolving the difference. Because the reason being is that Somalia uh, is quite wary of foreign interference, and it's something that really needs to be understood in that context as well. And if the U.S. or the United States takes sides between two leaders that are in conflict, it can incentivize or it can force or even exploit to be exploited by the different actors on the ground, mm -hmm. um, thinking that they have the United States for support. And so I think it's very important that the United States takes more of a mediating role and more of a a neutral approach to the conflict in Somalia instead of taking sides in general. Right. And what do the Somali people think? Are they divided in, in opinion? Well, I think it's very important that the country uh, is more polarized as ever, um, and supporters of both camps are more entrenched or they're further entrenched. Uh, but there's also a sense of false information or basically fake news going around as well. There's a huge uh, amount of propaganda being uh, put out by both sides, both camps, and I think that's quite dangerous. And that can actually change the narratives uh, or even entrench the narrative that both sides have. I think it's very important that uh, these, these, these fake news or these fake information or this propaganda that's been put out there needs to be put actually in, in a certain context and objectively being reported. Mm -hmm. So that at least the Somali public has some kind of way of understanding what the conflict's about and what the context is. Otherwise, it would just further entrench the Somali public at large, and, you know, just make the country more polarized. Right. Senior lecturer in security and risk management at the University of Portsmouth, uh, Mohammed Ibrahim Shire, thank you so much for joining us here on the NewsHour.